Hello, best friend, and uh, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, so if you're looking for a new messy best friend you have found me, grab a snack, grab a drink, hit that subscribe button. I would be very grateful. You guys, happy Sunday. I hope you're having a really good Sunday. I hope that you are enjoying your day, even if you're at work or you're at home or whatever the fuck you're doing, girl, I hope you're having a good day. And if not, like I always say, the sun will come out tomorrow, so I don't want you to panic, girl. Right now, your present is not your reality, okay? It is just a passing moment that will go away, all right? Okay. So we have to talk about this because Kylie Jenner and Jordan Woods, like I've, I've, I've already spilled the tea with you guys. They're back together. They're best friends again. They're posing together. They're shopping together in New York. And everything seems very dandy and amazing. But some people are not very convinced about this friendship. And we have to talk about this. So... When it was first announced that Kylie and Jordan were friendly again and were friends again, um, hang on, let me remember how, how that happened. I think there was a picture, right? There was a picture. They went to dinner together. Yeah, they went to dinner together. And people, I mean, that went viral. People were like, what? You know, how does Chloe feel? Like, you know, because obviously you guys know Jordan, you know, and Chloe's baby daddy, Tristan Thompson, had like a little thing. And then, of course, that caused the demise of Jordan Woods. And, you know, then she went on to do her own and, you know, have her own identity instead of always, you know, living behind uh, in, in Kylie, Kylie Jenner's shadow, right? And so, you know, Jordan Woods has had like a beautiful platform. She has a lot of fans now. She has had the glow up of glow ups. I mean, she looks fabulous, not only physically, but you can tell that her 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 spirit is happy. So when she went back to being friends with Kylie, a lot of people were like, damn girl, like why, right? So let's talk about this because this is such a good subject. And it's, should you go back with people from your past because, I, and, and you know, should you go back with people from your past who have hurt you or who have been toxic? And what should you do about this? I am a firm believer, you guys, that when someone shows you their true colors, believe it. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not only talking about Jordan and Kylie because Jordan and Kylie's situation is very, very very different you know tristan was there you know um allegedly a kiss happened uh the kardashians totally you know tried to end allegedly you know tried to end all communication with jordan her career flopped like you know it was like a big thing you know of course and then kylie's like in the middle like you know Jor uh, jordan is my best friend but chloe's my sister but then chloe is still here being best friends with tristan after he's cheated on her five thousand times so wait how come i can't be with jordan so their situation is very very different so let's just talk in general like you know i feel like um i've had you know i've had the pleasure of having a lot of friends uh, uh, uh not well, let me take that back bitch i've had the pleasure of having you know a couple best friends you know i i i know a lot i know people i have acquaintances i have a very tight-knit group but i've had a couple best friends in my life who it just did not end well, okay? It really did not end well. And I just feel that I have this thing where, you know, I've I've gotten burned and I've also burned, you know, I'm, I'm not a saint. Um, and that has definitely kind of raised my, my, my walls, right? And they're very high. And like, you know, I always have people like six feet apart from me because it's very hard for me to trust. So going back with someone who had like a toxic thing, you know, I wouldn't, I don't know if I would recommend that. The funny thing is that the public is basically telling Jordan, don't go back with Kylie because the whole family, you know, shunned you or whatever it's called, you know, they definitely like publicly and also just kind of like, you know, threw you out, right? Um, and I remember watching that episode where Jordan called Kylie crying and she was going to come pick up her stuff or something like that. And Kylie was very emotional because, I mean, Jordan and Kylie were best friends 
from you know a very young age so you know for 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 kylie it hurt her triple you know um and chloe she's still best friends with tristan after he cheated on her five hundred thousand times which i still don't understand but okay girl go off um i think that you know people make mistakes right people make mistakes people go through things you know people you know people fuck up and and i definitely have definitely been there you know i i i you know what you you nobody's perfect you know what i mean we all have a an assholey side sometimes right but i've learned that you know i don't necessarily believe too much in going back with people from my like from a, a past that we had a beautiful friendship but it ended maybe because of them maybe because of me and it ended right now taking back a friend after toxicness after somewhat dark energy yes you can definitely give them a second chance depending on what happened but i honestly just feel that like i feel like what happened with jordan for example that she was bombarded online people were just calling her homewrecker left and right without her being able to explain herself, I feel like I would be very scared to go back into the Kardashian energy. You know what I mean? I really would because like they have or had a lot of power. And Jordan, you know, I read somewhere she couldn't get jobs. She was, you know, very kind of just lost in space for some for so long until she, you know, got, came back and, and did her thing on TikTok. And that kind of like, you know, resurrected her, her career. But I would just be terrified because you would sort of even have to live on like, walk on eggshells. Cause you're like, okay, if I say something, if I do something, if I, you know, are they gonna do what they did again? And how come, you know, they all accept and love Tristan, who is the one who, you know, did it, but they, you know, all turned their back on me. So I wonder what Jordan's relationship is with, Chris or with you know with Chloe or you know with Kim and or Courtney like I really wonder how that is um and a lot of people like I said they don't want Jordan to be friends with Kylie but I have to tell you guys something look you know like I said in the beginning people make mistakes you know I am just speaking from experience you you might feel that energy about me that I'm very closed um to 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 people who have done me wrong or who I have done wrong or or we've had just negative energies because I just feel like I believe people when they show me who they are. You know what I mean? And I'm not someone to really I will forgive you and I will cuz I I believe in forgive, but I also will definitely forget you. But the only thing really that there is to do is to forgive and forget. So I really do, I want to forgive you, and I want to forget you. After losing my brother the way I did, you guys, and I've always said this, like, I feel no pain, like, cutting relationships. I swear, I feel no pain cutting a friendship, and I won't look back, ever. I will miss them terribly, I will always pray for them, but once there's, like, a negative thing, even from me, or from them, or the situation, or just something happened, I learned my lesson real quick. You know what I mean? And again, I'm definitely taking ownership and accountability because I know that, you know, I have definitely had to learn how to be a good friend because I know that I'm not perfect at all. But I just don't know about going back. I just don't know about going back. I just feel like going back can only lead to to issues. But what do you guys think? Do you believe in 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 rekindling a friendship that ended in a very toxic way or are you the type that just says i'm okay girl i'm moving on let me know in the comments i'd love to hear from you guys thank you thank you thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it i hope you have a beautiful sunday and i will see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye